a lot of the children of the Native Americans, the Hispanics, were taken and shipped over to um, Europe to be to be um, put into schools. The school system, just like we do, just like they do today, we are put in the school system to further condition us to love the white man, to love him, to serve him, and not God. We see the white man as God. Why? Because the white man said, this book is mine. So I am the first man on this book. I am the last man on this book. God is white. Jesus is white. The angels are white. Everything in this Bible is white. But do you believe that? Why don't you believe that? It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. Because how can, if, if the white man is God, right? Or the children of God, when Christ come back, he's a white man. Shouldn't you be afraid? Why? Why should you be afraid? You know what you can do. He's gonna do the same thing his his kids did. Put us into slavery. Destroy us. That's right. right? So we should be very afraid if that God is a white God. But the Bible said otherwise. God is not white. Give me the color of God. Because a lot of our people think that color doesn't matter. When it comes to the Bible, color doesn't matter. Well, color doesn't matter, but God is white. So if color doesn't matter. When we say God is black, you throw a fit. But when you say God is white, you don't say, nobody questioned that. You, know, you see the condition? So we have been conditioned to love the white man, to bow down when it comes to the white man. But we don't see each other as gods. You are a young God standing right before me. You are a young God. That's what the God of the Bible said. But you can only become a God when you start keeping the laws that you're committed. That's right. right. Right now, you are, you are a man, you are, you are a living dead, right? Because you don't know who you are. You just now finding out, all priests on the side that you stop. So I'm gonna prove to you that God is a black man. And you, many, you are considered a Negro. Did you know that? You didn't know that? So you thought you were Hispanic or Latino, right? Okay, watch, read. This book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, uh -huh. and the Ancient of Days did sit. Ancient of Days, what does that mean? If you're Ancient of Days, that means you were before the things, right? That means we are before time, right? Who was there before time? God, exactly. God was there before time. So the Ancient of, the, of Days did what? Did sit. So does that mean God has a body? If he sat down, does it mean he has a body? Because he sat down. So I'm looking. So this is Daniel seeing God. He's like, okay, God is sitting down. So I mean, God has a body. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So he had a garment on. His garment was white as snow. So that's further explained that God has a body. Because you cannot have clothes on without a body. Read and the hair of his head like the pure wool. The hair on his head like the pure wool. You see his brother's hair? You see his brother's hair? That's pure wool. So God is a black man that has woolly hair. Woolly hair. You see the, the, the 12 tribes here? We are all just different shades of brown. That's it. That's the only difference between you and I. Different right. shades of brown. Give me um, a Genesis. Genesis 2 and 10, I'm gonna show you. Because the first man that God created was what color? What do, what do you think? What do you think? The first man created, what color was it? Black. Exactly. Are you guessing that or do you know that? How do you know that? Your grandma, okay, perfect. That's a good example. Read. That's the book of Genesis, chapter two and verse seven. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. So, the dust of the ground is brown, just like this dust, right? But if you dig deep into this ground right here, isn't it gonna get darker? Of course it's gonna get darker. That's who we are. Give me the speckled bird, you see? That's who we are. And a lot of it, our Hispanic brothers, they don't think they're black. The white man sitting on his chair, sitting in office saying, black Negroes. The word Latino means a Negro 
slave who spoke Spanish. That's all it means. So I have my brothers and sisters walking around, I'm Latino, I'm Latino, I'm not black. I'm no, no, me no negro, I'm not black. But you are black. So that's what God says. Right? Let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask you just like I asked them. Why are we in the condition that we are in today? So a lot of people say because of racism. But the, the reason that we are in the condition that we are in right now is because of us. We love to blame the white man for everything that happens. But it's because of us. We decided not to keep God's laws. We decided to go away from the order that God gave unto us. We decided that. He gave us two choices, life or death. We said, you know what, nah, I know this book would give me life, but I want to do what the white man is doing, the Asian man is doing, the Chinese man is doing. I want to do what they're doing. And that's death. We chose that life. But now it's time for us to wake up because as time went by, our forefathers did not teach us who, who or, or what we need to do to come back to God. That's why God sent the prophets here today. God sent us here. We are the prophets. We are the mouthpiece of God to teach you. What's your name? April and Manny, that you are the children of God. That's right. That he have not left you for dead. But you can choose death. You can choose to die. But he's giving you life today. Right. Read that. Okay. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 8. Ephraim, he had mixed himself amongst the people. So Ephraim, what, what's your nationality? What, what are you mixed with? Black and Mexican. Who, what color is your father? Your father's black, your father's the so-called African-American? Okay, so you be from the tribe of Judah. Because you can only be what your father is. Not what your mother is, right? Because your mother only nurtures the baby. So you are from the tribe of Judah. You know who else is from the tribe of Judah? Christ. Jesus right, Christ right. is from the tribe That's of right. Judah. So you share the same bloodline as our black Messiah. Many, you share the same bloodline as every single one of us. Because we are of Jacob, right? So the scripture says Ephraim have mixed himself with the other people. So if he mixed himself with the other people, what do you think happened to him? His skin complexion kind of changed, didn't it? Right? His hair texture kind of changed, did it not? Read. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Have you ever baked a cake before? Have you ever seen pancake? You know, pancake, have you ever seen pancake? The bottom, isn't it darker than the top? So the, the scripture says Ephraim is a cake not turned. So on the top, he looks like he's whiter, or lighter, I should say. But on the bottom, he's still black. He's still negro. He's still black. We Strangers have devoured his strength, uh -huh. and he knoweth it not. So the strangers devoured his strength. When we went into mixing with other nations, God is completely against interracial marriage. God is completely against interracial relationships. Because when we mix ourselves with other people, we lose our strength. We are the world's strongest people. That's why they did so much that they had to do to put us in the condition that we are in today. To keep us mentally and physically weak. Right? Because we are God's chosen people. We are the children of God. Shouldn't we be the, strong, the stronger? But the Bible says that too. The Bible says we are the strongest amongst the nations. I'm going to show you guys how important you guys are to God. That's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. You know what holy means, Manny? You know what holy means, April? What is Holy. If I say that's holy, is it just like everything else? That means what? That means it's different, it's separate, right? So holy means separate. Give me that, read. So God said we are a separate people. Already, he's already telling us to separate ourselves, right? Read. Because we thinking we need to search for equality. There's no equality. 
We are not to search for equality. We are better than these other people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God chose you, many, chose you, April, to be special to himself. That's honor right there. That's honor right there for the God who created the earth, the, the whole thereof, the heavens, the planets, to say, no, you know what? You, many, April, you are love. You, you I chosen. I chosen you to be special to me. Me? The Lord has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Above all people. Above all people. So if we're above all people, that means somebody's on the bottom, right? Right. So if we are above all people, that's what God said. That's not what we're saying. We didn't write this book. God wrote this. He says, you many April, you are above all people on the face of the earth that's right you are better than everybody else the 12 tribes of israel we are better than everybody else bring it out but why did we want to be like everybody else even till today we still want to be like everybody else we we fighting for equality we marching for equality but god said what above all people that are upon the face of the earth we superior you guys understand that we are superior we are not the minorities that they keep saying we are superior we are better than them we are better than all other people on the face of the earth is that hatred do you think that's hatred do you think that's hatred because why why don't you think that's hatred because the second we say we're better than somebody the white man say oh no 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 that's hatred that's hatred but the white man pretend to the white man put himself above the that's else. right but nobody dared to say hey that's hatred we call we call ourselves the shemites the real jews according to the bible they say that's hatred but they stole our history they stole our book and called themselves the jewish people but we can't say that's hatred we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.